you why are you doing what are you doing and also why uh, do you have so much passion about this MTH why the first one is why I think why is the biggest one yeah and why is because have you seen that video about Nova and the tail of two mice so these two mice are genetically this these mice are bred to have disease they're bred to have cancer cardiovascular disease and diabetes so they're bred to have these defects so then the researchers can do various drugs and everything on them okay so these mice have their babies the researcher took their babies genetically identical put them in two groups fed them normal rat food mm -hmm. and then the other group they fed them methylated rat food folic acid b12 and choline and so on now genetically identical mice the, the mice who ate just the rat food went on to have cardiovascular disease diabetes and cancer the other ones who got the methylation support didn't they didn't get diabetes they didn't get cancer and they didn't get cardiovascular disease mm -hmm. I was like wow this is really big and I literally took my hands on my desk and I pushed my chair back and I said that's what I want to do because what it does is it is it allows us to take men and women who have genetics for having all these conditions optimizing them before they get pregnant and then they have children who don't have those problems right and then these children if you know how to feed them and take care of them through life then they don't go on so in short the reason I do this is to reduce the disease in unborn children and to optimize people's lives that's why I do it mm. and standard medicine looks at a symptom and then they give something for that symptom they don't understand all the pathways and the interactions of genes and why something is happening so I like to understand why something is happening fix the underlying problem and MTHFR is how I got started <clears throat> and MTHFR is a really important place to start because it's so central in our biochemistry and it affects so many things because MTHFR if it's not working then our bodies cannot make the number one nutrient that our body needs which is SAMe and SAMe helps make our our neurotransmitters helps get rid of them it helps turn our genes on off all these things and without methylfolate or the MTHFR gene working the SAMe levels go down mm -hmm. so it's a big it's a big deal and I had no idea it was so connected to all this mm -hmm. so and it just opened up everything if it was just a simple gene that like uh, for example there's a gene which converts um, beta carotene you know beta carotene from carrots right yeah so people who have bad eyes or a doctor always says eat carrots well that's not necessarily right because 70 percent of the population mm -hmm. have this problem where they can't convert beta carotene to vitamin a so that's a big problem but it's just vitamin a vitamin a is important but it's not nearly as important as mthfr and methylfolate mm -hmm. so it just happened that i started studying MTHFR and I started working with patients and some patients got really uh, improved right away mm -hmm. others didn't get much improvement and others just went really bad mm -hmm. why why there's so much difference well because MTHFR is connected to so many things and so that led me to discover all these other genes and there's all these other interactions and get me to understand what's going on